Christina from Redefine Creative, and I am back today with another issue or another episode of our Rediscover Your Stash series, and this is a series that I work on with Sarah Scraps, where we take some element from our stash, either something we have chosen or something one of our viewers have chosen, and show you some new techniques for how to freshen it up. And so this week, I was just showing you a bunch of different packages. We are using clear overlays, and this is something that we had on our list but also something that a bunch of viewers have uh, requested. Hey, I have a bunch of these. How can I use them? How can I freshen them up? So I'm going to give you a three different ideas, same as always, for some ways to take those clear overlays and breathe some new life into them. And so I am working with my latest hit kit today, as well as pulling in all of these older overlays. So one thing I really like to do when I'm diving into my stash is pull out something new that I'm excited to use and pair it up with some of that stuff from my stash. So I've grabbed this uh, turquoise colored, it's kind of like a shimmery cardstock from Basil, and I am mounting this exclusive hip kit paper with the polka dots on top of it. And the reason I chose that paper in those colors is because in the photo that I'm scrapbooking today, I am working with a photo of my daughter from Christmas Day where Santa brought her a new mountain bike. And her pajamas look exactly like this background paper, which was totally perfect. So before I started the video, I did my journaling on this little 3x4 Project Life card. And it's from um, the Better Together collection from Amy Tan. And so I've already done my journaling. I did some stamping with a Felicity Jane Jen alphabet. And so that's already ready to go. And what I am thinking at this point is I am going to use this 4x6 overlay as a shaker pocket. And then I'm taking just some of the Project Life cards from the Hip Kit Club and I'm creating some layers behind those elements. And then I also have one of those 8-inch doilies that are absolutely amazing from the Spiegel Mom Scrap Store. They are one of my favorite things to use lately. And I'm just kind of creating where I think my layers are going to go. That little 3x4 tag that has my journaling on it is going to be hidden. So that's going to be an element that pulls out. And I'll kind of show you how that looks at the end. And then the second way that I'm going to use these overlays is I'm kind of creating almost like a digital overlay element on my photo. So I'm creating a bunch of different areas where those elements are going to play in on top of my photo. And then I'm also creating this little design element down in the corner where I am using one of the overlays as a piece that I'm going to cut out and layer with an embellishment cluster. So that's kind of the preview or the overview of the three strategies I'm going to use. Now these clear overlays work really well in coordination with these 4x6 pockets from Project Life. And these are something, a product that Becky Higgins offers. And they are meant to be additions that you can include in your pages. But they also make amazing shaker pockets. So what I have done is I have taken a 4x6 white Project Life card, so just a plain one, and I'm going to add some color to it. And this is going to help that overlay stand out. Now I could stop after I have done this packaging technique and added the color and just put my overlay and it would look perfect. And that is a really good way to use up some of these overlays. So just create this, you know, this mixed media background and place your overlay right over the top. I'm going to take it one step further than that and make this into a really neat design element on my page. So right now I'm adding those different sprays. I have the Heidi Swap uh, Color Shine in Sweet Mint. And then I also have the Shimmers Vibes in Razzle Dazzle Berry that I am putting on the background right now. And then I'm going to come back in and add some gold splatters with my um, Heidi Swap Color Shine in gold. And so there you see I have all those elements done. Now this would make a perfect little pocket all by itself. But what I did is I pulled out this sequins pack from Pink Paisley's Birthday Bash and it was part of the Hip Kit Club. And I have also put those in the pocket. Now the benefit to using this 4x6 pocket from Becky Higgins is it has a flap. So instead of having to use any kind of tool or any kind of way to seal that shaker pocket, I can just flip that tab over and tape it on the back. And I did show you that just a second ago in the video. And so then what I did is I went ahead and put um, foam dots on the back 
so that entire shaker pocket is popped up off the page. And it also creates a little space where my journaling tag can slide in and out. So that was an additional kind of design thing. And I do go back at the end and kind of show you how that works. And then I've added a couple of clips to the top of my photo as well as the top of my journaling. And now I'm pulling out these uh, enamel dots. And these also came with my Hip Kit Club kit this month. And what I am using these for is to create some clusters around my embellishment areas. But even more importantly is I'm using them on my photo to kind of make sure that all of my little overlays are stuck down. So rather than using adhesive, I am using those enamel dots around that heart overlay to keep it stuck down to my photo so I don't have to use any adhesive. I did the same thing with that love clip where I use that to kind of hold down that piece. And then I also have a little puffy um, sticker heart that I did the same thing with. And there I am showing you kind of how I made that three-dimensional little slide-in pocket for my journaling. I added my third little overlay journaling cluster down there on the bottom, and that's going to do it for this layout. So three or four even different ways to use these overlays. So as digital elements on top of my photo, as a really fun shaker pocket with a mixed media background, and then as part of my embellishment cluster on the bottom. So I really hope that this inspired you to grab some of your overlays, maybe mix them up with some new products and create something fun. We'll be back again soon and make sure you check out Sarah's video for her uses of overlays as well. Bye.